This is Greenland. We're here to kayak an Arctic fjord earlier in the year than has ever been possible, due to warming seas and shorter winters. To get a view of the fjord from above, we're relying on a very special mode of transport. For thousands of years, the people of Greenland have lived side by side with dogs, and they make the perfect sled pullers. Well, they certainly sound like they're ready to run. I'm a massive dog person, but I'm kind of going quite cautious here. You know, they're very, very different to our perception of dogs back home. And uh, most of the time, you're not really supposed to pet them. It's only because this lot are obviously youngsters and puppies that I'm taking the chance. Hello, beautiful. Hello. I'm so beautiful. You absolutely are. Oh, my God. Yeah, he smells horrific. See this stuff on his fur? Yeah. We call it puyak. Puyak. Like the seal or fat or the... Uh, right, great. Whatever. <laughs> oh. oh dear, I'm covered in poo yak now. <laughs> he seems to like you though. <laughs> right, should we go and meet the uh, meet the team? Yeah. As the dogs get ready, the thrill and frenzy within the pack begins to build. They're hooking up the dogs. The energy is extraordinary. The excitement, the dogs kind of going, me, me, pick me next. And they hook them up in order of seniority. So the lead dog was the first one on the line. And you just saw it just running along the line of the dogs, strutting its stuff, owning everyone else, just expressing the fact that he is the top dog. <laughs> The stinky pup isn't old enough to join the team, so all he can do is watch and wait. Once the dogs are hooked up, we get on our way. And as we sit back and enjoy the ride, a familiar set of paws appear next to us. We've got a companion look. He's a little more than a puppy. You can see how hardwired it is into these dogs to just run. And it's a big part of their training as well. He's learning with every single stride how to keep up with the pack, with the team, and finding his place in it. And it won't be too long before he is wearing a harness and dragging a sled like this too. There's a wonderful moment as you start and everything changes. The energy is completely different. So from all the quarrelling and scrapping and barking and yipping, it's just silence and focus and running. As the Arctic ice disappears, these dogs are being used less and less. Ten years ago, there were 20,000 of them in Greenland. Now there are 15,000, and that decline is continuing. I love running with dogs probably more than any other method of transport in the whole world. I love the energy of it, that sense of being around, working dogs, doing what they love, full of energy, full of excitement. It's amazing. <laughs> He's still with us. Remarkably, the young rookie has kept up with us, clearly keen to prove his talents and join the ranks. But his enthusiasm gets the better of him, and he finds himself in a bit of a bind. <laughs> Poor little guy. He went completely under the rails of the sled. We went right over the top of him, but they are built of tough stuff. You're all right. These incredible dogs have lived alongside the people here for generations and are vital to their way of life. But climate change is threatening everything as we'll see when we attempt to kayak through the Arctic's rapidly melting sea ice. <laughs> 